there anything left for Floyd at this point to prove? I mean, they're talking about Marciano's record, or Khan, Thurman, guys like that out there. What do you think? Kalzaki already did it. You know what I'm saying? The facts are the facts. Kalzaki's retired at 50 and 0. So what's there to prove, right? People remember you by the quality of fights. They don't remember you by your record. Okay? They don't. They don't care what your record is. People know what. If you think about any fighter, if I mention Hearns, your first thing you think is Hagler, Sugar Ray, Duran. Okay? See, there's no such thing as great fighters. I'm going to tell us today. People, you want to know the answer? There's no such thing as great fighters. Only good fights that have great fights. Good fighters that have a great fight. Because who is Kobe Bryant without the opposition? Who is Michael Jordan without the opposition? Who's Larry Bird without the opposition? If I say Ali, you think Frazier. If I say, right? You think Foreman. You don't think, oh, Ernie Chavis. You don't think, you don't think uh, Ron Lau. You, know, Foreman. you you think great fighters. Matter of fact, I say Foreman, you think Ron Lau. So out of all the great fighters that he's fought, you think of certain fights. You don't think of certain situations. For example, I say Kelly, you say Prince, Gaynor, Troy Dorsey, right? What about when I beat Goya Vargas so easily when I won my title 36-0? What about when I beat um, Luis Espinosa and I was the underdog? What about that? So those are the things that people remember. Great fights. Floyd doesn't have one of those. He doesn't have one that's a marquee fight. Well, now he does got one. Matter of fact, I just changed my mind. Sorry to contradict myself. <laughs> Emmanuel Augustus, he fought on my show when he fought Emmanuel Augustus on KO Nation. That's Floyd's most memorable fight to me. You said that was the toughest fight. That, let me tell you something. I went in the locker room after the fight, put my arm around Floyd, and Floyd said, I never want to see that guy again. That fight, if that Emmanuel Augustus could punch, I told Floyd to his face, you'd have been out of there. So that's what I'm talking about. People remember phenomenal fights. This is why Canelo fighting Glafigan now is essential. What you mean, Delaware, two years? For what? He was good enough to beat Floyd, he can't fight Glafigan? What you talking about? You know, contradict yourself. Let's get him out there, let's make the fights happen. Let's get back to the way things used to be by putting these guys together, okay? Stop protecting these titles and start defending them. That's what we need to be at.